ELD Program Plan, EPP, in S for S. The first thing I'll need to do is locate my ELD student. So I'll go up to the word ELL and pull down to ELL Students. Once I'm in here, this is what it will look like, and I can choose my school from the list here. And I can choose, I can sort it by program, so I can look up just my ELD students. So I'll get just my ELD kiddos here. There we go, and here's Jake Smith down here. And he's had his initial request made. We had to do that first. We filled in his background history. You can see the date there. He had an initial step assessment. And now we're ready to do ESL or ELD program plans. You'll notice I don't have to choose ESL or ELD. Because he was already listed as an ELD modified student here under program, as soon as I click this start term one, it will open up a uh, ELD elementary program plan. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Once I'm in here, there's some great information at the top. They've already pre-filled a bunch of the information from the SIS for me that I don't need to put in there, and including some information from his last assessment. So it does say ELD, it says which step he is for oral reading and writing, etc. And then I can shoot, select here the level of literacy for primary language. So primary literacy, I'll say non-literate there we go classroom teacher is his classroom teacher there his able teacher if he's in an able program i could click here and there's a drop there'd be a little drop down menu if i didn't see the able teacher's name there i could enter it there kimiko i just put my full name there and then that, that would copy to document if i made a mistake and i go oh actually he's not actually in an able program right now i can just hit clear and that clears the field for me if he's in an ES, he's at a school right now, he's not in an ABLE program, but he is an ELT student, I would put in the ESL teacher here. And I would go down the list here. If I didn't see the teacher's name, again, I just type the teacher's name here and then copy to document. Now, if this is a student who's a brand new uh, friend and they'll have an EQAO exemption for grade six, for instance, I would click off EQAO exemption. Now, this part here is important. I need to make sure that I've shared this information with parents. So once I don't have to click that off right now, but once I have, I have to click off there and I would select the date. Now you generally would not have shared this information with the parents or guardians before you've created the plan. So uh, that's just to come back to when it's time. Under learning skills here, you can click, there's a little drop down menu and there's already learning skills there that are targeted. So you select the ones that your student is working on and then copy to document. They're already pre-filled, which is wonderful under the ELD program. Under orientation to school life, again, you're going to click, select the ones that are appropriate for your student that they're working on and then copy to document. Same thing with strategies here. There are a bunch that are already pre uh, put in their ELL accommodations and they're sort of they're grouped by type go through and these are the things that are absolutely important for your student in order to access curriculum in order to be accommodated in the classroom and copy to document will put right there. If we scroll down we can now see the program plan and the very top part says reporting goal and shared support. This is the place where we want to identify a key general goal for the whole reporting period for all of term one or all of term two. And then underneath that, we're going to add in some shared support information. This is where we identify those responsible for supporting the plan and what that support will actually look like for this student and their teacher. Then underneath language program plan, modifications to curriculum. So this is what students are being assessed on. Modifications should align with the student's ELD step level. We'll click here under oral. And again, it has a bunch that we can pre-select and copy to document. Under here, it says identify one to two ELD step indicators to focus on based on this modification. So if we want, we look that that's already pre-filled that they're uh, step two for oral. We're gonna click there for the pop-up and we'll see here are some step indicators. There we go. I'm gonna choose one, copy to document. Under strategies, 
This is our planning and programming strategies section. So we really need to be focusing on how students are being both instructed and assessed. So that's your instructional strategies, your assessment strategies, your learning resources, and your accommodations. Again, these are ones that are specific to oral language expectations. So I'm going to click there for the pop-up and it has many great ones I can choose from. Remembering that, you know, more is not necessarily better here. You want to only choose the ones that are going to be good for your specific student and essential for them to access curriculum. So you're putting in those ones that are essential for this student. Copy to document. Excellent. Then moving down, we look at reading. The overall reading expectations, again, they're pre-filled for you. It's so wonderful. You just click them off and copy to document. So easy. ELD step indicators, again, the ones that are specific to this student and what they're doing in their modified program for this term. Strategies, again, you click off the ones that are essential for this student and copy to document. Under writing, same thing, click for the pop-up, grab the few that you think are the most appropriate for this student. For ELD step indicators, we're going to click off the ones again that are most important for this student, for this topic, for writing, and for strategies, we're going to click off, there we go, just sample ones there. Under media, we'll go through the same process. You're going to select something, copy to document, ESL step indicators, select, copy to document, and strategies. More of the same, whatever you're using that's most essential for this student. For a mathematics program plan, you're going to look at modifications to curriculum here as well. You'll click and it actually has a little drop down here. So you can actually see, you know, B1 is number sense, B2 operations, etc. The idea, addition and subtraction. So they've, they've got sort of the overall, again, modifications aligning with the student's ELD step level. And then under here, same as above, where you're choosing a few things that are very relevant to that mathematics program. And then the strategies that you're using as well. And again, I'm just randomly picking ones right now. I'm not going through and selecting. Uh, this is just to show you how to do it. We'll be doing the same thing for science program plans, modifications to curriculum. Again, choosing the section that we're working on this term, choosing the big idea that's going to be there. And then English language proficiency. Again, just selecting a few that are going to be appropriate for this. Copy to document. Strategies, same thing. Select your few and copy to document. Social studies, history and geography. You're going to click there. Modifications. Again, it brings you that section that you're working on this term with this student. And then the idea, the big idea. Again, the ELD step indicators copy to document and planning and programming strategies more of the same copy to document looking down here at the french program plan again modifications to curriculum this is where we can actually uh, it says what students are being assessed on again we can actually put in some overall listening expectations there and there are some great ones that are pre-populated and copy to document again the same process we've been going through exactly what we're doing before with the other subjects and then copy to document overall speaking expectations. You'll notice this one looks a little bit more similar to the English language one as well. It sort of aligns there. And again, strategies you select, copy to document. Same thing with reading. The step indicators, once again, copy to document, more of the same, more of the same. And of course, each one of these is very specific to those overall reading expectations. Next up, overall writing expectations for French. We'll do the exact same thing that we were doing. There we go, copy to document. And the strategies again, copy to document. Excellent. So then at the very bottom, there's other content areas, modifications to curriculum. So if there are some other subject areas, maybe there's health or something else that they're working on, please indicate the subject area there and you're going to put in see if it was drama or health you'd write that in and what the actual modifications were then again click this you're going to uh, copy to document <laughs> more of the same once you've done it a few times it becomes like this very quick process um, as you're thinking through you're talking with your co-teaching partner you're thinking okay yes this is very this is exactly what we need for this particular subject area or for this particular topic and it is as easy as that. Once you're done, you're going to click save. There we go. Looks like this. 
once you've reviewed, you've made sure all the information is in there that needs to be, you can go ahead and print that out now. Click on the print button and that brings up a PDF that is printable. It has, looks very official on letterhead and it has that front matter there, that very important information. And then it has all of the information here that tells you all about the program plan and what this student's uh, expectations are and all the supports, the planning and programming strategies as well. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.